Thanks for your interest in Avail. I'm going to spend the next few minutes walking you through uh, some of the primary features of Avail, as well as specifically how you can use Avail to help manage visualization assets on your internal company network. Avail was designed with a couple of primary um, things in mind. One, it's completely content agnostic so that it allows you to organize any and all of your assets from SketchUp models like we're looking here, .skp files, uh, to other content types, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, one of the primary criteria that we had in developing Avail was we wanted to be the least disruptive to your existing workflows. So in thinking that through, um, one of the ways that, uh, one of the things that Avail was designed to do was not have to have you move any of your existing assets. So uh, wherever the existing files sit on your network, you can keep them there. Uh, the way Avail is designed is that it will allow you to index those content, that content in place and then begin to tag it so that you can get back to it more easily inside the Avail interface. So I'm going to walk you through uh, just a few of those features and give you some examples. So uh, the first thing I'll point out, I'll go full screen here uh, with the Avail interface. We um, uh, have a concept we call channels. So what you're looking at here is a channel of SketchUp models, and that was the name given to this channel. And in this channel, it looks like there's uh, a little over 300 .skp SketchUp models. And if I open up this side panel, I can show you some other channels. Here is a channel of Rhino models, .3dm files. Here is a model or a uh, channel of 3ds Max models. So these are some .max files. Uh, this is a channel of V-Ray materials. So you can see uh, some nice colorful thumbnails representing those V-Ray material files. Here is a channel of textures. So a lot of JPEG files uh, that have been organized. And in this ch particular channel, you can see uh, down in the bottom right, there's over 2,300 uh, textures in that channel, um, and uh, just a couple of other file formats, obviously a lot of CAD for file formats uh, data, as well as uh, here are some .stl uh, 3D printing files. So a couple of things to understand about Avail uh, that's important. One is, if you think about um, the application, basically replacing your Windows file folder as the primary way that you're going to navigate finding information. But much in the same way that you would use Windows file folders, you can also use uh, the Avail interface. So for instance, these are some uh, .jpg, JPEG files. If I double click on those, it's gonna launch whatever application has been registered on your own desktop to handle that file extension. Same goes uh, for if I were looking at these uh, .skp SketchUp models and double click on those, it's gonna try to launch SketchUp and will ultimately open up that model as, uh, as SketchUp opens. This is a good example though, too, that uh, while we'll open up this, uh, this SketchUp model, I'll show you, you can also drag and drop out of, um, out of the Avail interface into any application that knows how to handle a drag and drop action for a specific file type. So for instance, while I'm inside of this um, SketchUp scene, if I were wanting to drag another asset out of Avail, I can do so just by doing a simple drag and drop action to pull that asset over. So um, from that standpoint, you know, Avail being completely content agnostic, it doesn't require any uh, plugins to have to happen in the host app as long as that host app knows what to do with that specific file extension. So for example, I'll go back to these texture examples. If I were gonna pull in one of these uh, brick textures over into SketchUp, you can see that SketchUp is handling that file type uh, just as it normally would if you were to drag and drop it out of a Windows file folder. Um, so it gives you a lot of flexibility from that standpoint. So um, let me switch back over here and go full screen again uh, for this interface. One of the um, one of the really nice features about Avail, though, is it is a tag-driven uh, system. So while these texture files, if I right-click and say open location, I can actually see on the network where that those textures were indexed uh, into the Avail system. So here is a um, folder called Brick that's got a lot of brick textures in it. And if I go up a level, here's masonry with lots of textures, and all the way up, and here's a 
uh, a textures folder that has all of these subfolders within it. So this is a, a good example. Uh, the way that you get this content into Avail is actually create the channel, which I'll show you here in a few minutes how to do. And then you just literally drag and drop these folders into the interface of Avail. Avail then indexes these. It doesn't move that content, but it's told at that point you're telling Avail to index everything that's in, uh, in these folders. So what I want to show you is that if I uh, select one of these and open up this Write Properties panel, that we actually, uh, in Avail then, can store tags. But what's uh, really nice about Avail is it stores tags as key value pairs of information. So when you are indexing content off your network, uh, Avail will do things like pick up the file folder name automatically as a tag to attach to any and all to the content that it's indexing. But once you have that, uh, that data in Avail, you can actually assign a key to that, uh, which has some meaning in the interface, which I'll show you here in a second. The other thing I'll point out here is that, you know, the location is just another piece of metadata for where that file is on your network. So it's another uh, example of um, showing that the content actually is not moving off of your network. It's just a pointer to where that content is on your network that then can be accessed through the Avail interface. So uh, just to show you the value of adding a little structure to, to your data or adding these keys, if I uh, now close that panel, if I open up this filters panel at the bottom, what you'll see is that in Avail, you're able to actually take those uh, groupings of keys, of like keys, and arrange them in this interface. So what you're seeing here, without any additional work, where all of those folder names that came in as tags are now available as filters within the Avail interface. So this is a channel with a little over 2,300 files uh, that were indexed in, but if, as you notice, I'm, a, I'm now able to say, click on uh, exterior surfaces, and by doing that, it's dropping out all the irrelevant information from the network uh, you know, view of that content on the network, but it also is, more importantly, dropping out all of the extraneous filters that now no longer make any sense or the other tags in the filters panel. So at this point, I can continue drilling down. So if I knew I was looking for asphalt and these uh, had been tagged uh, as asphalt, I'm now continuing to drill down through uh, that entire collection of textures uh, to get what I'm, to what I'm looking for. So now that I'm looking uh, back at all of my textures in the textures channel, I could click on something like concrete to start. And what I'll see is that's also part of exterior services. So you're not limited into which order that you have to, uh, to choose your, your tags or your filters in order to drill down to it. At that point, once you've found the content that you're looking for, you can you know, drag and drop that into an application uh, of your choosing. So uh, let's go to another channel and just show you uh, some other examples of maybe some 3D models. So I gave you the example earlier of the SketchUp models, but here are some uh, .max, 3DS Max uh, models that are sitting out on my network. And as you see below, uh, they picked up a lot of the folder names. That those were already tagged within. You can add tags if you right click on any of these. I can add additional tags to content right within Avail. But one of the nice things about it is that it, when we index the content, we assume that the file folder names have some meaning, and we pick that up as your first levels of metadata, and then you can bring that in and begin to index it as I've done here. So in this example, I have like some automobiles uh, category. So here you can see all of the .max files. What's really uh, important to understand is that these individual max files that I'm viewing in this channel in Avail <clears throat> could be in dozens of different folders out on my network. And uh, that's one of the primary reasons for thinking about using something like Avail to organize your information is, is that rather than having to go look in and out of uh, unlimited number of file folders on your network, if you can begin to tag your information properly, this interface in Avail will let you get to any and all of that content no matter where it sits on your network. So in this example, uh, I'm just going to... Uh, minimize this Avail interface and pull up uh, the 3D Studio here to the side. Uh, so let me dock this. Let's go back. Um, so here's an example of, uh, you know, I've got a, you know, a, a .max file here. It looks like an icon that we've used for creating some of the RPC 
uh, content. But uh, just like I did in SketchUp, I can actually drag and drop that .max file. And what Max does is it gives you the option of either opening that file into a new file or merging it. So in this case, I'll just merge it into my existing scene. So there you can see you can place it. If I zoom up, there is that .max file uh, or model that's been placed there. So, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very simple workflow, obviously. So any place that you can drag and drop uh, an asset uh, into an application, you can do that directly out of Avail. So I'll give you one more example here in 3ds Max before we move on. Uh, let me go um, and open up the Material Editor. So if I open up the Material Editor, uh, you'll notice things like if you've got a uh, material where you need to load uh, textures into material channels or into map channels. So let me go back to my textures channel. And now I'm going to drill down and say I'm looking for a carpet. Uh, so here are a bunch of carpet uh, JPEGs that are sitting out. And so if I was wanting to build a material, you can actually take your uh, JPEG of choosing and drop it directly into this interface. You'll notice that it's going to load that pointer to that asset right inside of uh, right inside of the 3ds Max material editor. So I'm sure you know any of the uh, 3D modeling or rendering applications that you're used to using. Most probably accept drag and drop actions. If you're used to doing drag and drop out of your uh, Windows file folders, you can do this very same thing out of Avail, except now uh, in Avail, those assets can be tagged and it allows you to get back to them much, much more quickly. Um, so let me, uh, let me minimize that and uh, kind of come back over here to the interface. Let me, uh, I'm going to give you an example of how, show you how easy it is to organize assets uh, in Avail. So I'm going to create a channel. So open up the side panel, say create channel. And after I've clicked on that, I get a, a dialog that will pop up where I get to name my channel. So I'm gonna uh, create a new channel that's called Photos. And I get a blank channel. So this is what you will see by default when you open up Avail for the first time. You won't have any channels. And it'll allow you to create your own channels and begin to index your own content. So I'm just gonna go over here on the network to where I have some additional content. And let's see, here's a photos folder. So here are several um, directories full of photos. So as I drill into each of these organized by project, I see folder within folder of different, um, uh, different projects with photos within it. So I'm just gonna take those four folders and drag them onto the avail interface. It asks me if I want to, to index this content, I say next. And the next dialog that pops up asks me which of the file extensions that it found within these folders do I want to index. And at this point, I'm going to bring in all of these JPEGs and not index the .db files that happen to be sitting in those folders as well. When I hit next, I can add a, a global tag to all of that content if I wanted. I'll skip over that by saying next. And what we're seeing here is in real time. There's a few hundred photos in these folders. But you'll notice you get a little indicator here at the top of avail. It's now indexed all of that content, and it's bringing in all of those folder names as the first level of tags. So I'll go back to full screen now, close this side panel, and show you. Here are all those photos now. They still exist in the original uh, folder where they were indexed from. But now you can see down here below in the filters panel that by clicking on these tags, it allows me to see that content and drill down to it. So this is an example of what we the, while those tags come in, they're not structured. They don't have keys assigned to them. So we've built in a quick little tag editor. So if I click on the tag editor here, what uh, Avail is going to do is show you all of the tags for that channel. So very quickly, I can uh, look at this data and assign it some keys. So for instance, all of those four folders were organized by at the top level by the project name. So I'm just going to grab those um, those four. And if I right click, I can actually bulk edit those uh, keys. And what you're going to see pop up is your key editor, which you can create your own keys if they don't exist, or if you've already created them, you, as you begin to type in like project name, I can actually choose that out of my list and say that these are all four project names. And then just a quick I'll grab these other existing condition final. These are all phases of a project. So again, I'll pop up those key editor 
uh, begin to type in phase and say that these are project phase. So now what I've done is I've taken some of that generic key data or uh, tag data and given it some structure. And this interface also then allows you to organize that just by dragging and dropping which order you'd like those to show up in that channel. So that quickly, as I pop back now to my uh, switch back over to view the photos in that channel, you'll see that a little bit of organization work goes a long way in presenting that information. So now I can search by project name and then further drill down to say I'm looking for the design images, clear that filter, go look at Simmons Hall. So I think what you'll find is that as you begin to index some of the content on your own network, that it's a much uh, easier way to navigate in and out of your information uh, that sits there on your network. So that's a uh, general overview of Avail. Um, it's available for download for free. Um, and with that free version, you can create two channels and put up to 1500 pieces of content indexed to each of those channels. Once you've indexed content on your central network, Avail also then allows you to share that, which is what this middle icon lets you do, is uh, once you've created that channel, you can then share that out with others within your organization. And as we like to say, that uh, the, the real power of Avail comes from that leverage, that one person can begin to organize the data, and then as they share that channel out with others in their organization, those others in your organization get to win from that organizational work that you've done um, and, and provided to the other users uh, within your company. So here's the example where that photos channel now uh, shows up, and if I want to share that with others, I can click on this edit button, and via an email address, uh, register them to share that channel with. If they are not already an Avail user, they'll then get an email with instructions of how to install it, and ultimately they will inherit that shared channel uh, that you've decided to share with them. So um, hopefully that's a good uh, overview and a way to get you started thinking about how you can use Avail to organize some of your visualization assets. Um, you can go to getavail.com and uh, there you can register and download the app. And uh, we look forward to uh, providing you continued enterprise content management solutions through Avail. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks.